you know, um, before I met Ja, I was living overseas in Europe and I had established myself as a singer, you know, and I came back here, you know, thinking that with his persona and who he was, once we got together and I found out who he was, that it would only take off, you know. If I would have mentioned I'm singing and now I get this chance because you know everybody's watching. I would have just been singing everything that I said, I would have been singing. <laughs> Somebody would have discovered me. Somebody would have signed me that night <laughs> because I would have been singing my way to do this argument. <laughs> Don't use that. Why? That's mommy's. Use this if you want to smell like that tea. You never had to question if you were a man. So why give your money to a corporation that doesn't know if their products are made for men? Try Jeremy Razor's hair and body products. Jeremy's shampoo and conditioner are made with tea tree oil to naturally clean and restore your hair and scalp. Argan oil to soften your hair and not your masculinity. And aloe vera to moisturize the hair and scalp. It's all paraben free, sulfate free, phthalate free, and most importantly, 100% woke free. Not to mention, it smells amazing. Go to jeremyrazors.com and use my special code BURNS15 to save 15% off. That's jeremyrazors.com. Use my special code BURNS15 to save 15% off. John Smith is an ex-basketball player. He made like $61 million, million in his NBA career. He's tried different businesses and never nothing really ever took, took off for him. Uh, he ended up marrying this lady. And this is the lady, he caught her on OnlyFans. Somebody told him she was on OnlyFans. And this is him confronting her. It's stupid, bro. I can't believe I'm sitting here just finding out you got an OnlyFans page. Out of all these years, y'all, if disrespect comes with it, that you could even talk to me before you did it, that's bullshit, y'all. That's fucked up. Wait, wait, no, no, no. Calm, but you're not going to say fuck me or that's fucked up. It's not. I, I I just don't understand why he facing the wall. She way over here. Why you way over there? That's a problem. So you're you're not man enough to talk to her in front of her face, or you don't have enough confidence. Why are you talking to the wall? So that that's the problem. That's the half of the problem right there, because he haven't been putting his foot down. Maybe I'm not for sure, but. A man, a man talking to the wall and you got a problem? No, you talk to my face. My husband tells my sons all the time, when somebody talking to you, you look them in their face. You don't be looking way over here. You looking, you got your back turned. What, what is that? Why you got your back turned? Come on. Let's muster up some courage. Anyway, and I'm not knocking him. But this looks bad on him. You, you caught your girl. What is her name? Keisha Chavez. She's a ex adult uh, porn star. Recording me? What the fuck you doing? It's not fucked up. So I have an OnlyFans page, and he's mad because he's just now finding out about it. Of course, I'm mad. I'm just finding but out about it. I'm not doing it with anybody but myself. So why should I have to tell you my choice, my body, my body, my, body, my fucking choice? No, when you get married, it's his body, his choice. Y'all might not want to hear that, but no, it ain't your body no more. It's, it's his body, those kids' body. Like, when we got kids, it's their body. It ain't my body, my choice anymore. I'm sorry, I'm laughing about it, but come on now. It's not my body, my We're not, you're married, literally. That just sounds some selfish stuff. But I want to point out something to you guys. This might be mean too. But since I'm a woman, I'm going to talk about it. You are OnlyFans. So OnlyFans is like they show their body right. Sometimes they do porn acts or whatever. Sometimes they do porn with pe other people. But I'm just looking at her. L look, look at this lady. She's a nice looking lady, but she's, uh, she had her days, her good days. I had some good days. <laughs> this is the hill that she's climbing because you passed that. You should be, and remember I said in my opening statement, she should be at the time where she's giving advice to younger people. 
like sexy red. I've been down that road before. Sukiana, I don't know if you want to travel that road. That's a lonely road. You know, stuff like that. But no, she wants to be on OnlyFans because she says she got to pay bills. That's I'm not doing it with anybody but myself, it so why should matter. I have to tell you my choice, my body, my body, my fucking Joe, I've been talking to you about mad things. I've been asking for solutions to shit. You're not giving me none, so I created one. That's dope, so no shit. That's not in my book. Can I get some solutions? 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 Can I get if she was doing a porn star, she she was an adult porn or what did they call them? Adult filmmakers? <laughs> adult film. If she was adult filmmaker, she's how how are you gonna transition from being adult filmmaker to oh I'm a housewife now? I don't I don't understand. It had to I had Obviously to do something. Hasn't. You stood out there showing your body. You stood out there doing stuff like this on camera. You act like that's the only thing that I do. I have mad jobs, but they're not facilitating everything that needs to be done. So I got something extra. Only fans be breaking me off. What the Man, fuck? Come on, Keisha, with that. It don't matter what they break you off. It's the disrespect that comes with it. What you disrespect? Even, you couldn't come and talk to me about it. Okay, well, we're talking about it now. I had to find out on the fly. So now you know. <laughs> yeah, now I know. Okay. This is very disrespectful. Okay. Throw, throw this whole marriage away. This is, this is not marriage. This is, I don't know what this is. This is, this is horrible. Not a marriage. Shouldn't go that way. Um, if you feel like you need to get a job, you, you just say, husband, I think we need, I need some extra income. Um, husband should be like, okay, let me try to work something out because I really need your support at home or whatever. That's what normally happens. Or, okay, what? You know, yeah, that'd probably be cool since you don't, you know, the kids is all grown. What kind of work are you looking into? I want to do OnlyFans. You don't have any other skill set other than OnlyFans. And she's saying OnlyFans be breaking her off. Like I said, you guys are that. I mean, is it just a minstrel show that you want to OnlyFans this? Like I said, she's not a bad looking lady, but she's 50 11. Like all the other women that are on OnlyFans, this is the best. Is she getting broke off? Well, I guess, you know, a lot of people, older men probably want an older, more seasoned woman. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe a older men want more seasoned women. And then you got the fetishes, the young men, they probably want older, older women. But anyway, I, I, I wouldn't pick her. I don't know. Let me let me stop lying. So now this this was the first. Now she is speaking out. She has to um, make herself look good to show you, hey, this is not my fault. Joe calls it reveals that the ex NBA left home due to her starting OnlyFans. So now she's the victim. You knew. I was a dope video star when you met me. If I would do anything for my own survival, then what makes you think that would change? And she's like really crying. Where's how Joe? Are you, how are you Where, guys doing? Where's Joe? Um, He's pretty pissed off with me. So he's been, um, I think he's at his sister's house. He's not talking to me right now. So, yeah. Keisha, how long ago, obviously, we saw in the video that Joe was saying he had no idea that you had this account. How long How long is the account, have you had the page? Um, I've had the page for at least over a year. Um, it's on my Instagram and my LinkedIn, but that's what happens when you don't pay attention to your wife. Now you're saying that, okay, you don't pay attention to me. So I'm just going to put my body for everybody to see. So everybody could pay attention to me. That's something that's not clicking up in here. This is, this is the problem, ladies. When, when would stuff will be sacred to you and the guy that you're in a relationship with? It doesn't have to be, okay, 
And you're not even saying, oh, I cheated on you. You're saying, oh, I'm going to flash my body to everybody else who's going to pay attention to me. To me, that's just a, a, a poor excuse of you just want attention. You're a, an attention whore. You don't value marriage. It sounds like you just very selfish and you're attention seeking whore. Period. And you know, he has a friend that your your mannerisms is like, oh, I'm such a young giddy girl, and you're not. You are a senior. Ladies, pay attention to this. This lady is a senior. When you going like this and moving your boobs, and you, you know, because you think you're cute. But you, I mean, like I said, she's a nice looking lady, but you're not a cute 25 year old. And this is the problem with women trying to outdo, I don't know if she has children, but they're trying to be young like they, their children. Like, oh, I, I had my kids young, maybe I'm 50 or 45 or whatever. And I still got it. Just like um, Tia uh, Tamara, you know, who who divorced Corey Hardrick and all her videos that she shows is, oh, I'm getting dressed and I'm sexy. And it's like and it's like an awkward kind of sexy. It's like yeah, you look like a mom that's trying to be sexy, but you really haven't got the sexiness because you, you're a mom. <laughs> You know, it's not in her and um, Megan Good is the same age, but Megan Good is sexier, probably because she hasn't had any kids. Maybe I'm not for sure. No, stop, stop it with the madness, okay? Ladies, don't don't do that. If you're a certain age, you, people should look to you to guidance, not on this ratchet shit. This this is ratchetness. This is very selfish. Why even get married? Okay, Joe was pretty struggling on his um financials okay but you knew he was gonna be struggling because you married him when he didn't even he wasn't even in the nba he was struggling to be in the nba so and you stayed with him for 10 years so you guys should have got your wheels together and said okay we're gonna do this and that should have been enough not you trying to ball out out of control because you want to, you missed that $60 million lifestyle that he had or however much he was making per year in the NBA. You, you missed that. He got you after the fact. And apparently he didn't feel much for himself because he decided to take a adult film star. <laughs> I mean, come on now. Men put it in the chat. You taking an adult film star home and wifing her up. Put it in the chat. She has a good heart. She's a nice person. Let me give, you know, give her a ring. Does that make any sense? And, it, and not to say adult film stars can't be nice people. But why, why would you even go travel down that road for disappointment? He's been entertaining. She wants to really put a wrench, a bigger, you know, wedge in our relationship. So she went digging around my page and was like, oh, do you know that she has this? And I blew it from that. I mean, it's no secret, Joe's financial issues, you know? Mm -hmm. And I have always made a good life for myself, you know? Um, before I met Joe, I was living overseas in Europe. And I had established myself as a singer, you know, and I came back here, you know, thinking that with his persona and who he was, once we got together and I found out who he was, that it would only take off, you know, other things. But, you know, not everybody's hustle and drive are the same. And depression is a serious thing also. So, you know, I've been just like, you know, supporting and dealing and going through his trials and tribulations with him. Um, I've started 
I have a home in Cape Verde I'm trying not to lose and a, and a roof over here we're trying to maintain that we almost got kicked out of. So I just kicked in the drive and did what I had to do, you know, and he won't do it. So I had to, and I'm sorry, you knew I was an adult video star when you met me. So if my survival, if I would do anything for my own survival, then what makes you think that would change now? When I retired from the adult industry, I promised myself if I don't sing, I don't eat. So when, you know, my music career wasn't popping here when I left Germany and I stayed here for him, I would, you know, start a business. I started a puppy friend social club. It's a dog sitting business. And then COVID happened and that screwed everything up. I have a, a moving company, you know, that he actually works for me. Like all these things that she's saying that uh, Joe, he sound like he had depression. It sound like he didn't have the drive to whatever. But when you start suffer from depression, of course, you struggle to do day-to-day -day stuff, you know, have the drive to move forward. But that's where you come in. Hey, Joe, let's go to see some therapists. Hey, Joe, you, you think about, let's go to church together. I'm not for sure. But it, then it sounds like, hey, you came over here, back from Germany or wherever you was at, with your struggling singing voice. And you thought he was going to take off your singer career, but he's in an NBA. I mean, maybe he could introduce you to some people. I'm not for sure, but he's in the NBA. You actually have to have the talent to sing. You guys been married 10, 13 years. You probably was 40. There's nothing wrong for st starting off your career late, but you are talking about a singing career. Like, I will literally have to hear you sing. How how do you sound? Are you like a Jill Scott to say, oh, we're getting away from, oh, you don't have to be like a Beyonce, you know, to perform on stage, stage, you're not looking at, if you are to be looked up, looked at as a sex object, you're going to have to be younger. Nobody's going to say, oh. This is the American Idol because you're 45. She's about 60 because black people age really well. So she she looks about 50. You guys put it in jet. <laughs> Am I reaching on this? So you came over here and you thought he was going to take off your singer career. Fellas, pay attention. You're the ideal mate if you got something. And this you for you to determine or decide. Okay, is will this woman stay with me if I, I if I go broke, or if we have some struggle days where we have to eat red beans and rice? Now, for him to be a man. Now, this this is what other people don't realize. Okay, they don't have any children. They probably free to go anywhere. How about we sit down? I'm not balling anymore. How about we sit down and look at the house that we could afford and not get kicked out of? How, how about that? Because she said they were struggling, almost got kicked out of place, so it sounded like they're renting. How about we move from California? How about we go to somewhere we could live, like Houston or somewhere? Somewhere that's affordable. If I was you, I'd be calling what kind of skills that Joe has or have. I mean, can he be on one of these sports channels? He was in the NBA. I know he has some type of connects. Most black women, they be getting their man resume together. <laughs> like, come on now. <laughs> but the only skills you have is OnlyFans. If you had other skills, you could have got his resume together. Called, Let's pull out that phone book, Joe. I know you got some connects in your phone book. Let's see what type of position you could get. That's what I would have did. You're not just going to be sitting around the house moping. We going to get you a job, Joe. You don't have to be famous. But apparently she wants to be famous. I'm tired of being the one to figure shit out. So I figured it out the best way I know that can maximize the money that needs to come in. Because I'm tired of living yeah. minimal. You know, it's not, it's not fair. And I don't understand how you could have had such a maximized life and be so content. This is ridiculous. But we've been together for almost 13 years, though. We've been together since 2012, like after his retirement. And it really wasn't a retirement that he wanted. It was a forced retirement because he just got locked out after the lockout in the 2011 lockout. You guys remember, right. you know, he just never got a new job. Nobody wanted him anymore. So it's like he's just a throwaway. That's how she really feels about him. 
He's a throwaway. He's a loser. It's sad. The depression. And I've been going, you know, dealing with all of this stuff. And I'm sorry, you know, uh, that I, I'm not sorry for what I'm doing. I'm just sorry that he can't understand that it's not, that wasn't a selfish um, decision. It was a decision that I made. I made an executive decision when my man wasn't taking the lead. I really love Joe. Um, I just, I love him. Um, if we were, like, if he never speaks to me again, I still will do things to help him or whatever I can because he's my family. You know, he's like an intricate part of my life and I just want the best for us. I wish he wanted that also. That's really where I'm at. You know, I wish that he wanted the best for us because he's not really wanting the best for himself. So I can't expect him to do for him, what he, for me, what he can't do for himself, I guess. And that's why I just did what I had to do. Have you drawn that line in the sand that you will continue doing OnlyFans? Unless something else happens that, you know, changes that, no, I'm going to continue my OnlyFans. I think as a couple and just him individually, he needs counseling to help find out how to re-find himself and find his new place in the world. This this is what the feminism movement have done to women. Her brain is warped. You are going on OnlyFans to show your body. You're not doing sexual acts with other people, but you do sexual acts with yourself, I'm assuming. Um, but you show your body to people that will pay you $5.99. I don't know. Whatever the subscription costs to your OnlyFans. That, because that pays... Um, more than your bills. She, she says she's tired of living this minimalist lifestyle. But maybe Joe don't want to deal with the all hurrah, hurrah, shish, kumba. Maybe he just want to stay like, okay, we got a crib. We got food to eat. We're, we're fine. We don't have to have that crazy lifestyle. And she wants this flamboyant, flamboyant lifestyle. And he probably don't want that. He's probably tired of being in the limelight. Has anybody thought about that? But for her to try to demonize Joe um, because he don't want her on OnlyFans, to me, that's very sad. Very sad and very selfish of her. Um, and a lot of women probably would take up for her because like, girl, get that money, girl. He ain't paying the rent. No, but you're probably living in a place where you shouldn't be anyway. You're probably living above your means. And when you get into a relationship, into a marriage, every party has to think about the other party. Okay, if I make this decision, how would this impact my family? Um, during my birthday, my birthday uh, week, I wanted to buy a designer purse. But I didn't have designer money. So you know what I instead? I didn't buy that designer purse. <laughs> Because I know my husband gonna like, what the hell are you spending this money on this purse for, a girl? But you know, I didn't have designer money at the time, so I was trying to do some things, and it it wasn't for me. That lifestyle wasn't for me at the time. Um, am I sad about it? No, it's materialistic thing. But I can't say I'm gonna make this move financially examine how it affects my family even business decisions if it's a major move i will ask his personal opinion about it because that's what marriage people do married couples do when you're in it together you don't want to leave your man why don't you find a man that you think you deserve more leave your man divorce him and find somebody that's a, what they call a high value man. Probably because you can't pull one, especially if you're in LA. You can't pull a high value man unless they look at you like, I don't want to pull my grandmama. I want to pull somebody that just got out of high school. <laughs> they want something young. You know, they, they, they ain't looking for you, they ain't checking for you. You know, that those basketball players. They they don't they don't want nobody like you. They want somebody young. Because they they're young. Even the older ones, they want young, younger women. So you miss you miss your boat. And probably the reason why you miss your boat, she probably could have pulled somebody of a higher stature stature if she wouldn't have been in the adult entertainment industry. 
but she ruined that for herself. And that's probably why she was in Germany. She probably was tired of being looked at as um, a woman that was an adult film star. So she wanted to start over. That's all I got to say about that.